welcome to my youtube channel so in this particular video i want to talk about a very frequently asked question from me um, via linkedin very where, where i usually interact with all the students and one question which i am listening from a very long time is that ma'am i am from uh, xyz background maybe from mechanical background or mainly saying non programming background can i make a transition to data science right or if suppose uh, maybe i am from programming background but still i am maybe a front end developer or uh, maybe someone java developer can i make a transition to data science and if yes what are the steps which are required to do so see the answer is simple yes here you need to first of all acquire a skill set in order to become a data scientist now in this video i'll talk about how you can do step by step transition to a data scientist as the very key step you need to acquire the skills for that for that you need to understand what are the skill sets for the data scientist as a data scientist you are someone who should know statistics who should know linear algebra who should know probability who should know sql structured query language who should know nlp deep learning machine learning computer vision yes data scientist is someone who is having a broader idea about all these domains and sometimes industry might demand from you to have a knowledge of data pipelining or big data as well so here you can start with the data analyst in your journey where you can just have a good knowledge of tools as well as the statistics part in a pretty well manner after that step by step you can move towards a data scientist position if you are from a non programming background if you are from programming background then you can easily acquire data scientist position as well now the second important step is you can ask from me that okay you told me you, you need to acquire a skills but how i will be able to acquire those skills do we have any idea about that see what i believe is that there are two ways in a broader a broader cell which i will categorize one thing is you can do maybe a masters or a phd in this particular domain from a very good college right maybe from india or maybe outside india that's your choice but try to understand here whenever i am saying that go for masters or phd please make sure that you will do that thing only if you will be having a good college calls by saying good college why does it impacted in your career because networking is the key thing i will not say that okay when you are from uh, some tier 1 college uh, you will be getting a lot of good education as comparable to the students who are from tier 2 or tier 3 no it's not like that the only difference you will be able to see is the networking part yes there will be other others also other differences also but the major difference which you can observe is the networking part so try to make sure that if you are going for the masters or phd in order to do the same so be there in a good college after that second key category with which you can learn this skills is by taking some course which can be free or which can be paid one nowadays you know freely available courses are also there and paid courses are also there but please make sure that whenever you are buying some course try to check the curriculum of that try to check who is the mentor in that course okay so just be sure that okay am i able to acquire the skills wherever i am going into whether by doing the academia side or by just directly enrolling into any of the courses so that is the first thing via any of the these two methods you can go directly that that path will be very much easy for you because now you have a proper skill set of what is required to become a data scientist or to make a transition into data scientist now the second important thing is only understanding of the concepts is not enough at least nowadays competition is very high and one key thing which i want to talk about here is 
don't go with this domain if you think that it there is a fomo if you think that okay everyone is doing this only then i'll i'll also go and do that no if you are curious enough because what i what i feel in this domain is the major impact is the curiosity do you have the motivation to learn new things on a daily basis because there is a lot in this domain and every day new thing is coming up you have to keep your updated keep yourself updated so that you will be able to uh, you know up your skills are updated with respect to the industry demands as well so that's the important thing that you need to in- understand and if you are curious then only go for that that particular acquiring of the skills the second important step is once you will be able to acquire the skills try to work on some real time projects you can do a collaboration with the uh, great industry leaders or you will be having a good network or maybe you can do it on your own you can start by doing a kaggle competitions and after that you can take some real time data and try to do your own, on your own as well by going towards the uh, college side you might feel that they are not that much at least i will talk about uh, the tier 1 colleges in india so basically their intention is basically to talk about the research work right there you will feel that research work is going in a very good manner but industry side you will see that building of projects is going in a very good manner so there is a there is a difference between these two things so you have to see that what interest suits you either you want to become a core researcher or you want someone you are you are someone who wants to build something out of that so for according to that your skill set will be different so the second important thing is anyhow you need to do the implementation of those projects so whatever skills you have acquired you should have the idea that how basically i can implement those skill sets right after that the third key thing is i have encountered a lot of network uh, network friends in uh, you know in uh, in various platforms and they told me that whether should i drop whatever job i have and uh, will prepare for data science and then i will apply for the job no i don't think that it's a good way to you know go for data science jobs wherever you're working in don't drop the jobs don't quit your job try to implement your programming part in that job itself maybe you are from a testing background and you want to become a become a d- data scientist it's okay you can see that what manual work is going on in my job can i make some automated automation over there can i apply some algorithms over there to make the job much faster to avoid that labor work and machine will be able to do the thing for me so that is something which you need to look into and that is something which you can also talk whenever you are going for an interview as well so you can talk uh, to the interviewer that this is what i did something great in my industry in my project so try to apply data science in whatsoever domain you are working in because nowadays you can apply data science things in any of the domain whether you are from a healthcare background whether you are from a finance background whether you are from any other background try to apply that according to whatsoever experience you have gained so far and the last important thing is if suppose you will be able to do this much enough then try to apply for the jobs don't wait so here when you are applying for a jobs again i found linkedin linkedin as a very best platform this will give you a lot of opportunities there you will find the option of jobs where you can see that what are the companies which are hiring as a data scientist position and what are the you know J- jd is also written what are the requirements they have that, that is also written please make sure that whenever you will be having a linkedin profile try to to mix every update in your profile whatsoever you are working in what whatever whatever industry you are working in everything should be written in your linkedin profile you know very proper manner sometimes hr are looking the candidates that okay i am looking for this position this position suits you uh, can you please come to our company for a, for an interview so that is something which is happening and that happens to me as well today also a lot of companies uh, visit because uh, they see my profile they will be able to see that okay this 
person have this the, the, the skills and maybe that particular person is something who is interested in that position in my company so why not to have a chit chat with her so that's what i am saying try to get be very much updated and accurate in your profile everything written in your profile should be accurate nothing false or fake please don't write all those stuffs but make a genuine profile and try to apply for a jobs over there only because that is a really good platform apart from that there are various platforms also but i found linkedin as a very good platform and one more thing which i want to talk about is whenever you are doing any of the project assigns which i talk about in the second step try to showcase all those things in your github profile so as a you know professional person these two profiles github and linkedin is pretty much important for us so whatsoever you are doing as a real time project you can just have a gist of that project in your uh, you know github repo if you want you can make it public if you want you can make it private but whenever you're going for an interview at least you have something to showcase to the interviewer that okay these are the things that i have worked on this will really help the interviewer to understand what are your core areas and what you want to do in future as well so i hope that this uh, with this you will find that how, what are the basic steps you need to follow in order to make a transition to data science i hope that you find this video insightful and if you really like it please do hit like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all in my next upcoming video